Hello and welcome to LV Chair Yoga. My name is Tracy and today we're going to be exploring adapting Virabhadrasana 1 or Warrior 1 to the chair. As always, it's important that you listen to your body and work to your level of flexibility. So there is the option, instead of coming into the full expression of the pose in the lower portion of the body, to substitute for L-shaped leg. Please make sure you check out our other YouTube videos. Let's begin. As always, let's find our way to the front edge of the chair in mountain pose. From here, we're going to slowly swing around to the left side of our chair. At this point in time, we want to ensure that our, le our left side of the body is securely planted on the chair and the right side has a slight bit of a hang off so that there's room for the leg to expand out behind us. Please make sure that your feet always stay grounded and make sure that you feel safe, safe and comfortable through this entire practice. From here, we're gonna start with the lower half of the body. So I'd like you to slowly start drawing your right leg towards the back of the seat. Now I started by dropping my knee. Some of us may be able to come a little bit further and if you're feeling particularly comfortable you might be able to extend that leg all the way back engaging the muscles pressing the heel away from the body. Now where you are on the chair is up to you wherever you feel safe and comfortable. So some people might like to slide back just a little bit, others may prefer to stay forward. I like to make sure that my torso of my, not my torso, my thigh has got a good planting on the chair so that I feel safe and secure. I ground my feet on the front and on the back and now I'm going to move my awareness to the upper half of the body. With Warrior One, we have our hips pointing straight ahead over top of our knees. Our knees, of course, are directly over top of the ankle on the front left leg and extended back behind us on the right leg. Arms, we have multiple levels of flexibility here as well. So if you like, you can simply bring your hands to heart center or find anywhere in this range of motion to draw the arms up potentially drawing them along the ears as you drop shoulder blades down. Take a few breaths as you engage your torso, lengthen out the crown of the head and power into the pose. This should feel strong, this should feel good in your body, so enjoy it while you're here. Remember to use your breath, find Sterasukha, that place where you have to work but you're not causing any challenges. And when you're ready, Slowly release the hands, slowly draw the leg back, and find your way into mountain pose. As with all yoga classes, you need to play this video again and balance it out for the other side. But always, listen to your body, have fun, and get fit where you sit.